I had to turn on the camera because this is one of the most brain dead, disgusting things I have ever seen. Completely crushed his narrative. His response was, why don't we talk about the Lakers? It is the most pathetic matrix shit you've ever seen. And this is exactly what they do in the Impulsive Podcast. The reason why he tried to do what I'm about to show you is because he has practiced being a matrix agent for so long. Is election interference? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Get destroyed. Yeah, guess what? We engage with ideas over on this side of the internet. We don't talk about nonsense here. We don't baselessly slander people like Andrew Tate over here. What does that mean, though? So you got to unpack what election interference means. Yeah, what do you, what do you mean by absolutely? <clears throat> yeah, I mean... He it, asks it, it, the question saying, what do you mean by absolutely? Hoping that PBD will say something. I'm just explaining to you how the radical left mindset operates. Hoping that PBD will say something that invalidates everything else by putting him in a category of deplorable so that Mike doesn't have to engage with what he actually has to say. It can only exist on the surface level. Uh, what, did, what did the judge say the other day on what happened in Arizona? You know, this many uh, uh, dead people counted for. Yeah. That many... Uh, uh, so PBD starts listing facts. Court, and they're just kind of talking in about Congress, it. There's, in in Congress, Congress, yeah. But, okay, let's go through levels of it, right? From yeah. the lowest to the highest. We're literally going to go from the lowest to the highest in terms of levels of election interference. This is so foreign to Mike. He wasn't even expecting this to happen. They're so unthinking. Do you, do you understand that when he asked that question, he wasn't expecting an answer based on logic or rationality? He was expecting an answer based on ideological adherence? Lowest level. But PBD is not like that. He's like, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's take this apart. Uh, every single person in mainstream media called him to be a Russian spy or Russian connected this, right. you know, sponsored by Russia. Everything Hillary Clinton said that he was doing, she was doing. <laughs> exactly. And the left doesn't talk about that. How is that possible? They accuse us of what they're guilty of. Then when... The facts come out, and it's public that they're guilty of it. We're expected to move on. Oh, uh, move on to the next manufactured crisis by the FBI. January 6th. We talk about January 6th because it turns out that we can prove that Hillary Clinton was, was colluding with Russia, and she was cl and she was claiming that Trump was colluding with Russia. Okay, yeah, just time to move on. We're not going to talk about that. How is it possible that the left hasn't talked about that? They're not honest actors. Now, look at how look at how this disgusting Matrix agent responds to this. <gasps> Let's talk about the Lakers. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the gamesmanship of Hillary Clinton. So the mainstream media played the role of selling him as the monster that he is. Number two, if you want to talk about uh, election fraud, when the New York Post story came out with a Hunter Biden laptop, 50 of the highest ranking officials C in CIA came out saying the Hunter Biden laptop. The thing that could have swung the election. And, and you know what's crazy is I saw, I saw that video when it was just breaking on YouTube. I'm talking about when these videos were getting taken down every 15 minutes and it had like 30,000 views. I was one of those people that had, see, that, that, that had seen that press conference where they were talking about the Hunter Biden laptop in that weird room that, that looked kind of sus. And, and you know, when they said that it was misinformation, I, I thought, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe it could be misinformation because it was kind of a weird press conference, you know? But then it turned out that they were lying. They lied. They, they literally lied about what it was because of their political allegiance. Think about that. Think about how, how dirty that is, about how willing to cheat they are. They cheated with that. They lied. They literally lied. And, and they thought that they could lie and get away with it and that they'd still be able to call themselves the good guys because they think that by de facto, they get virtue as a result of being a part of the Marxist ideology. It is so disgusting. That this laptop story is... Fake. fake and it turned out to be real the, they said this is well, fake and but let me ask you let me ask you a quick question just to hop in for a sec Th this oh my is gosh this is so this right here is so disgusting what you're about to see okay so he just said let me hop in here and ask you a question real quick now let's hear the question does he ask him a question no look at what he does instead uh, this is the uh part of the dialogue that how deep i want to get into this stuff because you made a you made a point earlier you didn't know or understand left versus right politics until Trump came 100%. Along, right? Bro, he literally crumbles. He's a matrix agent. He is petrified of ideas that go against the left-wing ideology. This is what an empty human looks like. This is what a shill looks like. This is the definition. This is the definition of an empty human being. There's nothing here. And it's not only this. It is the last 100 episodes of Impulsive. It is when they baselessly slandered Andrew Tate. 
a man who had done nothing wrong but have controversial opinions. The left is unthinking. We have to beat their ideology of anti-intellectualism. Their ideology is technically based on idiocy, on denying reality. Guys, I, I'm not using hyperbole. In postmodern neo-Marxism, they literally say objective truth doesn't exist because objective truth is discriminatory. You understanding this? We have to beat we have to beat this scourge. It is an ideology that is built on being incoherent how deep i want to get into this stuff because you made a you made a point earlier you didn't know or understand left versus right politics until trump came 100 right you just brought this up you asked him you, you made an incoherent statement about january 6 then patrick Pat david brought the facts in a list that was coherent and logical and made sense and he was debunking you and then your response is let's not talk about this do you ever wish we could go back do any of you guys ever wish we could go oh, back? So Do you ever wish we could go back to a time where th th we talked about <laughs> the president of the United States on one day out of the year? Who'd you vote for today? Oh, dope. Cool. Did you see the fucking Lakers Golden State game? Dude. Why do you think that that's not possible? Because for the last eight years, they've done nothing but say Trump is racist, Trump is a bad person in the press. Who do you think is standing in the way from that being possible? These people's brains are so ravaged they don't understand the disgusting levels of irony of, of which they speak. They've done nothing but demonize Trump. D Trump derangement syndrome, orange man dad for eight years in a row. Endless indictments, endless hearings. Oh, but bro, why can't we just go back to the way it was? And on top of that, that was his response after PBD just laid out facts, coherent analysis. Statements based on reality, pointing out the fraudulence of the left. What a pathetic human this is. I am repulsed. I am disgusted by what I see here. This, this dude, this is, this is what being a weak man looks like. This is the reason Andrew Tate is necessary. This is the reason PBD is necessary. This is the reason Jordan Peterson is necessary. This is the reason why what I'm doing here is necessary. Because we have to replace this weak, pathetic, soy, anti-reality sentiment with people that are willing to say a word of truth outweighs the world. We're not going to do this weak shit where we say, yeah, you, you're a good person as a result of being on the left. Or, yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice truth and reality and objective morality in the name of my left-wing cult. Do, you, do we not understand how we got here? Does this guy, is this guy that blind? They have created Trump. They have created Andrew Tate with their idiocy, with their endless denial of reality, with their demonization of objective truth and frameworks. And then they complain when the machinations of their own insufficiency become reality to educate them. And what do they do? Because they're defined by weakness, because they're afraid of the truth, because they hate objectivity, they retreat, they cower. Let's talk about the Lakers. What the fuck am I listening to right now, dude? last night yeah. that is one of the all-time classics LeBron versus <laughs> i can't get over it bro when confronted about the Hunter biden laptop oh, let's talk about the lakers what am i even hearing man f court curry to the death free throws three pointers you know i'm your friend you're yeah. my friend i'm not saying policies issues the things that are affecting us are not the, the most important person, the yes you are because you literally just said you'd rather not talk about facts that pbd just laid out in response to you making the most surface level ideological marxist low resolution statements possible and you're complaining about truth you're complaining that oh my god it's disgust disgusting disgusting this is so humiliating i can't imagine he th th he has no idea he People that are this unthinking, people that are this moralist, have no idea how much they humiliate themselves to people that, like me who can think, to people like PBD. This is so disgusting. First person would agree with you, but I'm going to tell you a story, and I'm going to finish the thought as well when you ask Sorry. a question yeah, about he's using, he's using, He's using kid gloves with this guy. He just said, let me ask you a question, and then didn't ask him a question and just complained about how he's been confronted with reality. Uh, yeah. no, it's all good. So for me, the whole New York Post thing, is you keep that story away from the people. Let me just write this down so I can tell you the story. So uh, you keep that story from the people and you... I said he's using kid gloves, but at least he's returning this and going to hammer it home. Yeah, they actually lied. They literally lied to influence the election.
New York Post calls Twitter. Twitter doesn't put up. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're not going to put it up because of this. And it was going viral. Left wing censorship. Elon Musk bought it. Revealed that they were colluding with the federal government to subvert free speech. Yeah, what about that? That's another massive fucking deal that they don't talk about. What's going on, bro? Is this the fucking Twilight Zone, bro? What the fuck? The left is insane. They don't care about ideas. They don't care about truth at all. They look at they look at objective reality as oppression, dude. You can't make this shit up. Let's talk about the Lakers instead. Andrew Tate's a bad person. Oh my God, indict Trump again. Holy shit. Oh my fucking. And that could have been the difference on who you're gonna vote. And then you bring these 50 CIA agents who are professional liars to say the fact that, yeah, you know, this was, it's just a con job. It's not a real story then. Kamala Harris first turns around and says, I would never do the vaccine with this much of research that took place, especially under a Trump administration. And when does the Pfizer vaccine come out that's ready? Or the Johnson Johnson and Moderna? You know when? Two days after election don't, is over. Don't get me started on COVID, bro. This video is going to get taken down, but we all know what that was. The number of timings that happened on when they launched the vaccine that was done by Trump. Two days later on Thursday, they say the vaccine is ready. But let me go back to the question about do you wish we could go back to XYZ? Ideas don't matter to them, dude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that Trump produced three million vaccines. It didn't. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. All that matters is ideological adherence. Okay. Um, it's a very tricky question. The answer will be, what am I solving for? If I'm solving for pure, oblivious happiness, yes, 100%. I want to go back to it. But if I'm solving for life to <laughs> be a man that defends uh, and, and, and is able to fight... <laughs> PBD just said, if I want to be oblivious, then I think, yes, I'd agree with you. But if I want to be a man, then we have to confront the problems that you're denying. Holy shit. For some people that maybe they can't and God put certain things in my heart that I can't stop thinking about. And he, he, he allows you to use certain weapons and gifts to fight off the bullies. And you see that as a responsibility. No, I'm kind of glad I know about it because for me... I'm not solving for yeah. the oblivious happiness. That's such a good point he just made. How are we going to... Mike literally just tried to say, not only should people not care about the objective facts that you brought up, they shouldn't care about objective facts in general because they're too hard, because they're discriminatory. But the real reason that he would never say out loud is that it goes against the left-wing ideology that doles out counterfeit virtue in alignment with Marxism. Oh, here, let me spoon out your virtue portion. Holy shit, here's a, vir here's a piece of virtue. Black woman, holy shit, a virtue, holy shit. He said, be careful reading the books you read because you will never have this innocent happiness ever again. Because when you become too smart and you're reading constantly wanting to find that the different curse. purpose of it's a curse. Absolutely. It's a double-edged sword. Look at Lenny from Mice and Men. Exactly. <laughs> I, exactly. Yeah, that's right. It's so true that understanding the world in higher resolution than everyone else can seem like a curse and a lot of hyper intellectual people get trapped by that they get paralyzed by knowledge but that's not the right way forward it's actually not the truth they've lied to themselves on some level they've lied to themselves because they aren't serving humanity and so they're actually not serving truth either they're cowardly a word of truth outweighs the world and so when you ask is knowledge worth the cost that it comes with, you already know the answer. The answer is already defined because you've asked the question as an individual. And as an individual, you hold that responsibility to the world and to yourself. You can't turn away from reality. You can't turn away from what is objectively good and right. That's the difference between cowards like Mike and people like PBD who are willing to face the truth. Pay the cost of reality. What's the moral of the story? The moral to answer your question for you, if I'm, so, if I'm solving for what I'm solving for, all day long, I'm glad we're learning about it because they're, used, they're showing... That and how disturbed, how evil, how perverted, how insane do you have to be to suggest that we shouldn't be glad to learn about how they've lied to us? How, how much of a coward do you have to be to say we shouldn't overthrow the paradigm of counterfeit moral virtue as a result of adherence to Marxist ideology? How weak do you have to be to say there, I, I, I'm going to identify with some sort of group membership to an ideology rather than being an individual, a good person, caring about what is objectively true. Oh, instead I'm just going to pretend as though objective truth doesn't exist and worse yet, that objective truth is oppressive? Give me a break. They're showing their cards on how they want 
uh, to control you and why they want to control you and why they want that kind of power over you and I. And it's actually a very interesting case study to look at the way they're doing it. And to me, I sit there and I say, okay, I actually think the last four years were terrible for establishment people. Because you know why? Because they thought they, they had got it. exposed. They got exposed by Andrew Tate, Joe Rogan. The list goes fucking on forever. I can list all the red pill people. I can list all the Daily Wire. I can list smaller people that no one has any idea about that are undermining this massive infrastructure of anti-intellectualism constantly. That's done. This is their chance. Don't worry even if we're public about it right now. Go, 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 hurry up, go, <laughs> yeah. go, shit broke, this broke. Oh, don't worry, go, go, shit, everything's breaking. Go, 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 shit, go, go. go. Oh shit, we didn't make it. Yeah. Now they know. Yep. What the hell do we do? I think that's- That is the place that they're at. And what he's describing there, guys, if you didn't realize, is us realizing that they're frauds, that they're not the good people they claim to be. They're not inclusive when they discriminate viciously and use ad hominems to demonize you if you disagree with their ideology. They're not standing for democracy when they try to remove their opposition from the ballot. They're not scientists who care about objective reality when they say men can get pregnant. There are two genders. The ship is sinking, but they're like, no, no, come on, open board, everybody. Dude, come. exactly, they're playing the violins on the Titanic. Everything's fine over here at DEI Equity. We have Mark Cuban saying, oh, we need to hire people based on, um, yeah, just to give them a pilot's license. Oh, black woman, do you want a pilot's license too? <laughs> here you go. The reason why it looks so absurd is because they've divorced themselves from reality. I've said this in so many previous videos. Go check out those videos and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Dude, we are Aikidoing these worthless pieces of shit, dude. We have to get a critical mass of people to uh, wake up so that we can punish them, so that we can resist them in total force and, and power. Because without that, I don't know. We, we, we have to break the, the mind virus. We have to break this virus of Marxist resentment to save humanity. This is the thing, Mike, just, and just to really fast interject. I, 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 I am not saying ignorance is bliss, but to go back then, I think now that Trump, and dude, again, God chose this spray tanned, whatever guy, you're fired. He pulled open a curtain and he went, hey, everybody, look. And now there's no going back. The fake news, yes, he said it crazy because he's not a you know, he's public speaker. He pulled open the curtain, showed everybody, hey guys, I'm sacrificing this all because his name is screwed. He's about to go to jail. He said, look at them. This is the people that I was cool with, the swamp that he was talking about. I turned on them and now look at them showing their faces and he did it. And I, I think he did it. He and got they it. showed their faces for eight years in a row trying to prosecute him. Endless fake news, endless attacks. The Matrix is furious. The Matrix is enraged that you get to see them as who they are. Frauds. Way too deep, way too fast, Frauds. but now there's no turning back. That's it. I just, I just don't, I don't know. I just don't have that level of- We know you're a coward. We know you have no substance. We know that, 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 that you are a fake human. Like you talk about like anti-establishment, right? Like he's got he's got nicks in his armor on on anti-establishment as well. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what an you know unthinking the human. There is no person that can pay attention and not understand good from evil. No person paying attention and not understand. We are dealing with tyrants here. We are dealing with people that want to take over the world. We are dealing with people that want to subjugate you and take away your individual identity. They don't even think you should have the right to exist. They don't think you should have the right to free speech. It's clear they they censor people on social media platforms. Right now, I'm being censored on multiple platforms. Who, the, the vaccine, Trump, the vaccine oh, case the for him was, was yeah. Well, like, do you know how I do anti-establishment establishment? Oh, it's Very. like, it's like he's, dude, it's like PPD is trying to educate this lapdog of mediocrity. If this is what the average human is like, maybe on one hand, we should be grateful that, that their, that their, that their brain is so blank, that their mind is so empty. Because it means that we can actually start from ground zero and build them up like, this is how logic works. <laughs> The world is based on objective moral frameworks. Right and wrong exists. And we can actually reach people like this. But there is, but, but, but I fear that their brain isn't actually blank, like you're seeing here. Their brain is actually infected by the woke mind virus that tells them signs of intellectual coherence are actually oppression. Very simple. Give everybody a score. Right. For oh, example, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how I, you, Andrew Cuomo. Right. I said this four years ago, the DeSantis- Dude, exactly. That's basically what I said. When you engage in a moral framework, you give you, you, you give people a score in terms of what you're measuring. Who is more establishment, CNN or Trump? A big problem that leftists run into as they dispute objective frameworks is they are unable to look at the world in a objective, probabilistic lens. 
this is what you see emotional females do all the time on the Fresh and Fit podcast, is they don't understand statistics. They can't extrapolate beyond the personal. They can't look at things in terms of a probability. That's basically what Mike just said. How can you tell the difference between Trump and CNN? Because Trump has made a mistake in his life before, and CNN has made mistakes before. How can we tell the difference? Because there's such a thing called numbers and objective analysis, or we can look at probabilities. Their brains are broken. Guys, resist the slave mind. This was a necessary video. I was watching this and I had to turn on the camera because holy, we are fighting in the war of our lifetimes. And we're fighting against an enemy that is logically, rationally, intellectually illiterate. So speak the truth because all they have is making you feel like a bad person, like a predator, like an oppressor for speaking the truth. That's a lie, they're frauds. When you call that out, when you break them for that, there is no recourse because they have no intellectualism. When they say you're a bad person for speaking the truth, you can look at them and say, no, no, you're a fraud for being afraid of the truth. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Subscribe to the channel.